Hello, friends, and welcome to Storytime. Today, we're going to be reading the book, Infinity and Me. This book is written by Kate Hosford and illustrated by Gabby Swiatkowska. So this is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And the spine says, Infinity and Me. Okay, friends, let's get started. Infinity and me. This is the title page. Infinity and me. The night I got my new red shoes, I couldn't wait to wear them to school. I was too excited to sleep. So I went outside and sat on the lawn. When I looked up, I shivered. The sky seemed so huge and cold. How many stars were in the sky? A million? A billion? Maybe the number was as big as infinity. I needed to feel very, very small. How could I even think about something as big as infinity? At school the next day, I asked my friend Charlie how he imagines infinity. That's easy, Uma, he said. It's a giant number that keeps growing bigger and bigger forever. I thought about trying to write that number down. Even if I live forever, I would never finish. I went to get ice cream after school with my best friend, Samantha. Sam, I asked her, what do you think about infinity? What do you see? I see the infinity symbol, she said. It kind of looks like an eight that fell over and took a nap. If it were a racetrack, I could drive around it forever. Samantha made me feel a little better. Writing that symbol wouldn't take long at all. I traced a napping eight in the dirt with my shoe. So here's the racetrack that goes on forever. Before school the next day, I asked grandma how she imagines infinity. She smiled at me and said, I like to think about a family. First, you have the great grandparents, then the grandparents, parents, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren. It could go on forever. So like a family tree. So that's Uma and her mom and dad and her mom's mom and dad and her dad's mom and dad. I couldn't really imagine that many people in one family, but I did realize something. It was hard to talk about infinity without talking about forever. I also realized something else. Not one person had noticed my new red shoes. Not even grandma, who usually notices everything. I looked down to make sure they were still shiny. Then I started to wonder, what would I like to do forever? At first, I thought that I might like to have recess forever. But if there's no school before recess and no school after recess, is it really recess anymore? Maybe I'd like to be eight forever but I didn't know if Samantha would still want to be my best friend when she was 85 and I was still eight. So here they're both eight years old, but maybe Uma, she could stay eight years old forever and her friend Samantha would grow up. Would they still be best friends? Maybe I could lick an ice cream cone forever, but what if my tongue started to hurt? Actually, my head was starting to hurt from all these thoughts. When I went to the lunchroom, I asked our cook, Mr. Mancini, how he imagines infinity. He held up a noodle. How many times do you think you could cut this noodle in half? He asked. I cut it in half six times, 
but then it got too small and I was afraid I might cut my finger instead of the noodle. In your mind, Mr. Mancini said, could you cut that tiny piece of noodle in half forever? I asked Miss Reed, our music teacher about infinity, and I wish that I had it. Picture music that goes in a circle, she said. The notes would lead us around and around. The music would be endless. Here it is, endless music in a circle. I was starting to think about that my questions about infinity might be endless. It was time for me and my red shoes to go home. For dinner, Grandma made me my favorite meal, butter chicken and rice. As she mixed the spices, she looked at me and said, Wilma, I meant to tell you this morning, those are the most beautiful shoes I have ever seen. So Grandma did notice Uma's shoes. I didn't hear the rest of what Grandma said. I was too busy smiling. Right then I knew. My love for her was as big as infinity. That night, I asked her if she would like to look at the stars with me. Snuggled up close, sitting next to grandma, the sky didn't seem so huge and cold anymore. Now it was more like a sparkly blanket covering us both. The end. Here's the author's note. In this book, Uma listens to everyone else's definition of infinity. Then she comes up with one that is right in front of her. My challenge for you is to find your own way to imagine the idea. How many ways are there to imagine infinity? An infinite number. Just close the book and begin. And this is the author, Kate Hosford, and here's the illustrator, Gabby Swiatkowska. The end. So this book was called Infinity and Me. Thanks for coming to Storytime, friends, and I'll see you next time.